Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we will be looking at Jeunesse Conformity Conformity Study which although not listed as a key study on the specification is a useful case for AQA level psychology in the subtopic of social influence. I hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let's get started. Jeunesse, 1931, aimed to investigate whether individuals would change their opinions in an ambiguous, unclear, situations, in response to group discussions. Jeunesse conducted a laboratory study using a sample of 101 students who were first told to make individual and private estimate guesses about how many white beans were in a glass bottle, there were 811. Participants were then divided into groups of three and asked to provide a group estimate through discussion. Following the discussion, the participants were provided with another opportunity to individually estimate the number of beans. Jeunesse found that nearly all the participants changed their original answer when they were provided with another opportunity to estimate the number of beans in the glass jar. On average male participants changed their answer by 256 beans and female participants changed their answers by 382 beans, female participants conformed more. The range of the whole group went from 1875 before discussion to 474 afterwards, decrease of 75%. Jeunesse concluded that judgments are affected by majority opinions, especially when individuals are in ambiguous and unfamiliar situations. The participants in this experiment changed their answers because they believed the group estimate was more likely to be right than their own individual estimate. Jeunesse study has several strengths and limitations. A strength of Jeunesse study is that it is influential and paved the way for other psychological research. Jeunesse study was highly influential in the field of psychology. The experiment was one of the earliest conducted in the subject matter, demonstrating the power of conformity in an ambiguous situation and allowing basic conclusion statement on social influence to be drawn. On top of this with Jeunesse being one of the first psychologists to study conformity and publish the results, she pioneered and encouraged other psychologists to carry out further experiments in later years, enhancing social understanding e.g. ask, 1951. This is a strength because it suggests that Jeunesse study was instrumental in advancing the field of psychology by shedding light on the significant role of conformity in shaping behavior and social interactions. A strength of Jeunesse study is that it is ethical. Jeunesse study was fairly ethical compared to other research into social influence e.g. Zimbardo, 1973, Milgram, 1963. Although, as with most psychology experiments, Jeunesse study had a lack of informed consent remain controversial as a balance must be distinguished, participants should be relatively aware of what they are involved in, at least the nature of the experiment, however, reveal too much and behavior may be distorted, reducing both the reliability and validity of results. This is a strength because it suggests that Jeunesse study was able to obtain valid and reliable results whilst also being able to keep in line with ethical guidelines. It also highlights the importance of maintaining a balance between informed consent and preventing behavior distortion in psychological research, as this is crucial to obtain creditworthy and trustworthy results. A strength of Jeunesse study is that there is more recent research support. Lucas et al., 2006, conducted a study where he asked student participants to give answers to easy and more difficult maths problems. He found that there was more conformity to incorrect answers when the problems were more difficult, particularly for students who rated their maths ability as poor. He therefore conducted that individuals conform in situations where they feel they don't know the answer, ISI. This is a strength because it suggests that individuals look to others and assume they know better than them and are right, ISI, which supports the results and conclusions of Jeunesse study. A limitation of Jeunesse study is that it lacks ecological validity. Jeunesse study was conducted in a controlled laboratory setting, which doesn't mirror the complexities and nuances of social interactions in natural environments. The controlled setting could have influenced the participants to behave differently than they would in their daily lives. This is a limitation because it suggests that result of the study cannot be generalized to real-world scenarios as the results do not accurately reflect how people would behave in a real-world setting due to the artificial nature of the environment. A limitation of Jeunesse study is that it lacks mundane realism. 
Jeunet's study involved estimating the number of beans in a jar, which is an artificial task which is a task that people don't typically encounter in their everyday lives. This is a limitation because it suggests that the findings of this study do not generalize to everyday situations where consequences of conformity are important, and where people interact with groups more directly. A limitation of Jeunet's study is that it lacks population validity. All of Jeunet's participants were psychology students who knew each other. This is a limitation because it suggests that the results of the rates of conformity of the study cannot be generalized to real-life settings where it is unlikely people will be so familiar with one another. A limitation of Jeunet's study is that it lacks control over extraneous variables. The study was conducted in a group setting, where individual differences e.g. personality traits and external factors could have influenced the results e.g. ASK, 1955, found that students were less conformist, 28%, than other participants, 37%. Perrin and Spencer, 1980, found that in approximately 400 trials only one engineering student conformed. This suggests that students conform less than other subgroups of the population. This experimental flaw meant that Jeunesse was unable to identify specific extraneous variables, which may have impacted the results, a control would have allowed Jeunesse to isolate key factors that determine conformity rates. This is a limitation because it suggests that Jeunet's study cannot draw valid conclusions on conformity as the lack of control over extraneous variables makes it challenging to isolate the specific impact of the independent variable on the participant's behavior accurately. A limitation of Jeunet's study is that it lacks temporal validity. Jeunet's study was conducted in a specific time period, 1932, with a particular group of people, psychology students, which may not accurately reflect behavior in different contexts or timeframes. The study's findings might not generalize well to diverse populations or contemporary settings, limiting its temporal validity. This is a limitation because it suggests that it is important to consider the historical context and societal changes when interpreting the results of psychological studies conducted in the past. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye.